Fosachi on the floor. Ooh, won't you give it to me, to me, to me, to me now, girl? For Sachi on the floor. Yeah, $7.99 for a faux Sachi shirt. This is what we're doing, this is how we're feeling. Cost effective, Cuba likes to ball on a budget. Today's video is sponsored by Max Aroma. The fragrance was sent over to me. I have no idea what this joint smells like, but I'm very curious because I do enjoy the house. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out this blue fragrance from the house of Morescu. I'm kind of a big Bless you morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to the B to the A. Boom. Morescu's Sahra Blue. Whenever I hear something with Sahra in it, I don't know, I just have high expectations just based on the name. What does the name mean, Cuba? Hmm? Morescu does these really delicate, mostly the ones that I've smelled have this gorgeous powderiness and vibrancy about them that I have high expectations for this particular blind sniff, but I guess Max Aroma is now carrying more Morescu and they want to get my thoughts and opinions on them. Regardless if I get the fragrance, you already know what time it is. You've been on this channel. I don't got to go through fucking disclaimers. So I really want to know what this shit smells like. So we're going to just jump right into it because there's no room for dilly dallying when you look this fucking good. So let's just crack this shit open. I haven't looked up any notes, nor do I care about the notes unless the fragrance really truly intrigues me or confuses the shit out of me and I just gotta get into it. So here's the presentation without the cellophane. Beautiful artistic type look. Morescu bottles are gorgeous. They're all usually smaller. They're all in the space of like the 1.7s or 50 mLs, but they all have a beautiful artistic quality to them. Some of them even usually have little CZs or stones all around them. So that's pretty dope. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Wow, this bottle is gorgeous. Oh wow, it's like blue lapis. Wow, super beautiful. When they put this type of thought pro, wow. I love this. I love, 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 love this. I love the lapis. I mean, if you think I'm capping, like my logo here is blue lapis enamel in the back. Like, true story. Like, I love blue lapis enamel. There's even a Rolex, a vintage Rolex with a blue lapis dial. That's fucking grail piece. So this is beautiful. I can't wait to put this up there, even if it stinks. I mean, just keeping it all the way a thousand. I'm judging the book by the cover a hundred percent. Once again, don't know what this smells like. This came with a little booklet. I've never seen these joints before. Uh, this product is completely handmade according to techniques handed down by several generations of Tuscan glass makers. Therefore, little imperfections don't represent defects, just signs of uniqueness. That's actually freaking cool that they put that shit. Little imperfections is not a sign of defect, just uniqueness, AKA, you could see a little gold leaf actually right off this. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this piece here, there's a little piece here and a little piece there of like gold leaf kind of coming up and giving it like a little three dimensional kind of look and feel. So that's beautiful. I definitely appreciate that. I mean, bottle making is something that I have zero idea about and not something I can fucking execute, but shout out to those who can. So here we go, first impression times of Sahra Blue by Morescu. Again, I don't know what to interpret, but at least the book by the cover is gorgeous. So let's see if the fragrance matches this energy. Well, that's not what I expected at all. It's Aventus-ish, but there's some vibrancy here that it's very much in that space of Aventus. You get that pineapple, bergamot, muskiness, but there's something here on top of that that's separating it from Aventus. But just that DNA is so recognizable. Aventus being one of the most popular niche fragrances in the world, it's a DNA that we all recognize. It's not going full-blown clone, but on paper, you can't deny that that first punch, that first interpretation just reminds you of Aventus right from Rip, but something's changing here. There's something there that 
It really separates it. Damn, I love this bottle. This bottle's so fucking nice. Oh, yes and no. The air, wow, the sillage that this shit is doing in, so, in one spray. No. Aventus-ish, but I mean, ish like 15% opening wise. There's a lot going on here. Oh shit, look. See the goose pimples? Goose pimples don't cap, and goose pimples don't come from Aventus. Not from me, I mean. Mmm, mmm. They're still there. They're still there. Oh my gosh. The citrus here is really tart, but in a gorgeous way. Like there's a sweetness, there's a tartness, there's this shaved gingery type vibe here. There's also like a, like a tea note, like a white tea vibe. The musk here is very deep. It's bright. It's punchy. It's, it's, it's dry. Oh, this is fucking nice. You know, when I, for the first 10 seconds, I was like, fuck, I hope this isn't just a full blown Aventus clone. And you get that. But if you get that 15 percentage kind of DNA that you recognize and know it's a mass appeal beast, and then you throw these kind of citric, sour, gingery tea essences in here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, this hits different day. Mm. Okay, notes. All right, so the notes are listed as ginger, very prevalent, lemon, super prevalent, pink pepper, mm. Mm. Granny Smith apple, yes, coriander, not yet, lavender, very faint, jasmine sandbag, mm. oak moss, seaweed, white musk, and amber. Yes, and yes for white musk and amber. I don't get much of the peppery vibe, but that lemon, that tartness that I get from the opening kind of masks a little bit of what the Aventus-ish DNA is like. This is gorgeous. It's fucking gorgeous. This is a fragrance that you have to try out and really put aside the Aventus notion for a little bit and let the fragrance develop on its skin and let it do what it does. This is uh, not an Aventus clone at all. Uh, this is something crazy. This is beautiful, wow. Gorgeous presentation. The scent profile off of my skin is really like tart and sexy and musky and spicy, but it's not from the pepper. It's from the ginger, that ginger type spice. And there's still that white tea note that I'm getting. So ginger and tea vibes that I get from this shit is all up my wheelhouse. Woo! Damn, that shit is expensive. Yeah, I can't justify the price, honestly. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, but it's over 400 bucks. It's a very, I mean, I love what it's, I mean, I love what it's doing on my skin, but it shit is super expensive. For me personally, I would say you gotta sample this joint first to see if this shit works off your skin and if you find it worthy of it. You put price points on gorgeous presentations and scent profiles, I mean, fragrance is mad expensive and you buy what you can afford, but this is an expensive ass fragrance. For me, scent profile wise, absolutely a ball sprayer. Price wise, I'll have to bring it down to like a half a ball spray. The scent is fire, the price is not. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Shout out to Max Aroma for sponsoring this video. I'm actually gonna wear this shit today. It really smells fucking shit. I'm telling you, it's like Aventus and Hasiva made a baby and just bumped up the ginger and just put some tea vibes in here. Man, I see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Let me know which Morescu fragrance blows your dick off, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. Smooches.
fresh, who is best? One of those gonna pass the test. Who by the the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag, when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Man, it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>